You are about to watch a preview of a Sopography film, and if you would like to watch the full film and over 600 others, please head to www.sopography.co.uk and become a member. This place I love, yeah, this place is the bollocks. This is more of a home to me than anywhere else now, really. Now I've got the boat, yeah. <laughs> oh, <bro. laughs> That's <laughs> Something that was mentioned in the previous episode was the massive Norfolk Broads bike that you caught, 28 pounder. Look at your little smile. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've just caught myself a 28 pound Norfolk Broad pike. What do I do? Jump in the boat and then the boat sails off and it drags everything in the water with it and I'm trying to get back to the bank and yeah, it's just a complete mare. So we've only got a week left of the season on the, on, on the river, you know? So I'll give it all I had. Happy days. First mirror of the year. I mean, there's only so many rivers in the country. A, a new lake can be dug at any given moment and it can be stocked with any carp from any place. Like, but we've only got so many. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the first pieces of footage that you gathered because when we gave you the handicap, I didn't know quite what to expect, but you've done a You've done a mighty fine job, Finn, and you've, uh, yeah, you've you. done yourself proud. You've documented loads of your fishing. So, the first lot, November 2020. Just talk a little bit about what you were doing during that time. It's probably just getting into the swing of my predator fishing because it was getting cold. So, going to catch a few live baits in the morning and fishing them under a float, probably down here in the marina. Got a winter ticket on a private lake as well. So I'd go down there. November time, you can still catch a few live leads on the on the maggot and float rod without making it, without having to work all day just to catch your bait, you know. And that's what I like to do because it keeps you active, doesn't it? Watching a float dart about. I'd have uh, I'd have done a couple of trips to Norfolk Broads because I like going. Out there. Me and my mate Michael would have gone up there. That would have been fun. I don't think we caught anything. Maybe a couple of jacks, but all the same, it's lovely. He always brings a couple of flasks of coffee and that. Mickey looks after me, to be fair. He might, he, he will say that, he, he will say bad things about me, but then really me and him do love each other, do you know? Um, and then, so my first carp, first carp I caught on film, would have been out of here. Just, um, I couldn't be bothered to bring the boat down one night. So I slept rough under the crane for an evening. Yeah, my face will yeah. Come on. See what I mean, Elliot? See what he's doing to your fing. You've just paid all that money for that. He's messing about a bit. <laughs> Tell him to go get some fish, didn't you, mate? Ah, yeah. Use Oi. it for what it's for. Yeah, don't be so horrible. <laughs> there you go, El. Caught a four pound jack pike today. There you go. There you go, mate. Topography that. Oh. <laughs> Elliot, who's trying to take the boat? Don't know anybody, please. I'd love if he did. Just got down the canal and set the rods up. It's probably about half eight at night. Happy days. Better late than never. Um, it's nice weather. It's just drizzly. It's not cold. There was a hard frost last night, so I'm happy that that's gone. It's supposed to be mild all the way through the night. I ain't, I ain't got a shell. I've just uh, set up under the old crane again. I love setting up under the old crane. Billy. Right, let's rock and roll. Just tell us a little bit about, you know, just brush over about the marina. Obviously, you've already mentioned it, but tell us a little bit about this marina. It's where I keep my boat. I have done for a couple of years now. Moved it, moved it from quite a few miles upstream. Come down here because obviously I enjoy it down here. I've spoken quite a lot about this in the in the last one when I spoke about myself. So, so I'm going to say it again. But yeah, it's just a nice place to be, and it's always exciting. Tell us a little bit about the you know catching that fish, the fish you caught, and who was there to film it and all that. Well, that night all I caught was bream. I think I had three bream. Woke up in the morning, I, did, I didn't put my left hand rod back out, I couldn't be bothered to be honest. So, woke up in the morning, it was only my right hand rod still out. And uh, I didn't know him at the time. He, when he walked past, he, 
I, I didn't really know him. I just thought it was another person drop shotting or throwing a, a worm about. But it ended up being Tristan, like I get on well with now. And he, after he's done his little thing, he's come back and asked what I've had. Right, well, and we're just sitting there chatting. And as we're talking away, you know, about fishing and that, my right hand rod has absolutely melted off uh, into the distance of the boats, you know, yeah, it, uh, it was fun. And um, he grabbed the camera for me and we filmed the whole thing. Got some nice pictures out the front of the boats and that up behind the crane. Yeah, it was lovely. I don't know how big that was, maybe 23, 24 pound, but one I haven't had before. Do you know, so, so a near or mid 20 pound mirror cart out the river or canal. Um, yeah, it was beautiful. I was well happy, yeah, what a, what a good way to, and to be fair, on my jacket, I've got a little wafty tag, what he, what Tristan gave me off um, his jacket. So do you know, like I me mean, for a little reminder of that day, you know, and it was cool. Like, yeah, and that was the first carp I caught when it, since you gave me the camera. And to be fair, I didn't really know what to do with the camera that, yeah, then I was a bit worried, you know, so. I thought that's a good way to start. Yeah, it's nice. After three brain. So what is sopography? Think Netflix, think Amazon Prime, think OnlyFans. We are a video subscription service and for a small fee, you will get unlimited access to all of our premium content. We produce videos every single week, several times a week, and our content library is growing all the time. We make a variety of content with all of your favourite anglers and this takes us far and wide. Whatever it is you want from carp fishing videos, you will find it within the Sopography Archive and our content is different each week. Your experience is constantly changing, our content is constantly changing, but as I said a minute ago, all we aim to do is make videos that you lot are going to watch and enjoy. We are completely independent, so you're not gonna find any advertising in our films. Everything that we do, we make because we want to make it. We're governed by nobody. Our films are made because we want to make them. And that's really important. Gone are the days of watching adverts that ruin your experience. You can watch our videos via our website or our app. Our app is free to download. You can download the films to the app. That makes streaming the content nice and simple. You download it at home when you're on Wi-Fi, go to the lake, go to work, wherever you may be, and you're not using up your data. So you download it to your phone and it's ready to watch at your pleasure. We want to make the Sopography membership as valuable to our members as possible. And for that reason, we look at more than just the content. And we came up with something called the Members Discount Scheme. That enables you to use a selection of codes and save money on purchases with the brands that we have on board. And we have lots of companies involved now. So you go on their website, you use the code, you save money. We've got a tackle shop on board. That means you can use your discount code and save 10% on all of your fishing tackle for the longevity of your membership. Save 10% on your rods, your reels, your bivvies, you name it, there are savings to be made and it covers a huge variety of different bait, tackle, clothing. Whatever you want, you will be able to save money as a Sopography member. And we also run competitions every year for our members. So having a Sopography membership means that you're automatically entered into these competitions. We do 10,000 pound prize giveaways and it's a great way of us giving back to you guys that support us. We offer a variety of different pricing structures which enable you to make savings as a member. So the longer a term that you sign up for, the more money you can save. For example, choosing the yearly membership will enable you to save 27% across that year and it will cost you just 19 pence per day to be a member. Our content is at the heart of everything that we do and we are so confident in the fact that you're going to enjoy our content that we offer a seven day trial period, which means you can take out the membership, you have seven days to watch the content, make your mind up on it. If you don't like it, you can cancel within that seven day period and you won't be charged. We're not expecting you to do that, but we are aware that paying for video content may seem a little alien to some of you. So with the seven day free trial, the ball is in your court. You're able to cancel your membership at any time. So no matter which option you choose in terms of membership, if you want to end it, you can. We wanted to offer that and I think it's really important that we do. Our membership is evolving all the time. So as I stand here and talk about this, 
things are going to change daily. We're constantly trying to move things forward. We're constantly trying to make our membership better. And hopefully this video has given you a proper insight into what we're about. If you do have any further questions, please do not hesitate to contact us on info at topography.co.uk or any of the social media channels. So there we go. That is an overview of Sopography in a nutshell. That's what you're going to get. Make the most of the seven-day free trial. Give it a go, and I'm sure you won't be disappointed.